Hello friends, this video on aldehyde ketones carboxylic acid part 19 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now what happens if there is no alpha hydrogen? So I am doing the same reaction. I'm using aldehydes or ketones, right? And um, generally ketones will have alpha hydrogen generally. So I'm using aldehydes and they don't have alpha hydrogen, correct? So what happens? So in that case, if we if we do the same reaction in the same uh, atmosphere that you, you react with base, then it will undergo self oxidation and reduction, and this is called Cannizzaro reaction. This is also called disproportionation reaction or Cannizzaro reaction. In this case, one aldehyde will reduce to alcohol, the other will oxidize to acid. So I have two aldehydes. So one will go to alcohol and other will become carboxylic acid. So if you see this is reduced and this is oxidized. So this is in the presence of a base. So this is called Canny zero reaction. So if you don't have alpha hydrogen, so here no alpha hydrogen. There is no alpha hydrogen, then this reaction takes place. For example, I have HCOOH. This is my formaldehyde. Right? If I react with the base and if I heat a little bit, what will happen? I'll, I'll get alcohol and I'll get CO minus Na plus. If you see, this is oxidized and this is reduced. This is methanol. And this is sodium formate. Right. Or let's suppose I take this again. I use NaOH. I heat this. I'll get one alcohol. This H2OH. There is benzyl alcohol, and I'll get this guy sodium benzoate. That is what I'll get. Right. So reaction mechanism is pretty simple. I have, let's suppose RCOH. First thing, the base reacts. Now the base has to react. OH minus where it will go? There is no acidic hydrogen. So it will react this carbon because this carbon, if you see, is slightly positive. So this OH minus will react this, attack this carbon. So what you get is RCO minus here OH and here H. This is what you will get. Correct. Now, this will react with another RCOH. So now what will happen is, if you see this oxygen has a negative charge, right? So if this hydrogen goes off in H minus form, they'll form a double bond. So this electron will go in this direction and this bond will break and this H minus actually will attack this carbon. So what you get is R, C, O, O and O, H. Actually you'll get plus R, C, this becomes O minus, right? And here you get H and here you get H. Now what will happen is, right? This O minus will, this is H here, right? Will attack this and break this bond. So this bond will break. So what will happen is RCO minus NRC this becomes OH and this is H and this is H. This becomes RCH2OH single bond actually. This is my alcohol and this is my carboxylic acid. So this is my reaction. This is self oxidation and reduction. One will get oxidized, the other will get reduced. And this happens only if you don't have alpha hydrogen. So in that case, OH minus will attack this carbon, right? And then this will help to kick out this hydrogen because, and then this hydrogen will come out as H minus and will try to attack this carbon. So this becomes alcohol and this becomes carboxylic acid. So this is only for 
aromatic aldehydes and ketones actually so let me use this for the aromatic so aromatic aldehydes and ketones they undergo electrophilic substitution reaction we have um, done this a lot in the previous chapter so i have if i have aromatic aldehydes or ketone it will go electrophilic substitution reaction because the carboxyl group which we have is deactivating group and this meta dieting group so this group we have right this is deactivating group and it's also meta dietary group so for example i have a benzyl dehyde and in this i have i do a nitration nitric acid and s2so4 right so what you get is nitrobenzaldehyde and since it's a meta dieting group at meta position we get a this is m nitrobenzaldehyde so i'll not go detail into the mechanism because we have done a lot on these mechanisms of the electrophilic substitution reactions in the previous chapters if you have doubts you can watch those videos thank you visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality educational videos you can also attend free online tests that are there in our website you can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website thanks a lot for watching